Hello, all of you. I'm here in Coombisset Church. You've just been looking at our crib. And you can just see behind me the tree. Christmas tree. And today, this week, we're celebrating Epiphany. You know the story so well. The story of the three wise men traveling to the stable in Bethlehem that you've just been looking at. Let me read you the story. Far across the desert, wise men watched a new star burst into the night sky and knew it was a sign from God that a great king had been born. They followed the star to Jerusalem. Where can we find the newborn king, they asked. King Herod was shocked to hear about the new king. Will he take my throne, he wondered. Come back to me when you found the child, he told the wise men. So they continued on their way following the star to Bethlehem, where they found Jesus in his mother's arms. The wise men bowed down to the baby Jesus and offered him gifts of gold, incense and myrrh. But an angel warned the wise men not to tell Herod about the child. So when they left Bethlehem, They travelled back home by a different road. When Herod found out that they had left without telling him, he was very angry. Kill all the baby boys in Bethlehem, he shouted to his soldiers. God sent an angel to Joseph in a dream. Herod is going to look for your baby and kill him, the angel warned. Take Mary and Jesus across the desert to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you it's safe to come home. Years later, the angel again came to Jesus and Joseph in a dream. Herod is dead, he announced. It is safe to take Mary and the baby back home now. The little family packed up and cross the desert again to find their new home in Nazareth. That ending isn't always heard. It's only in one gospel, in Matthew's gospel, about the family going to Egypt. We don't know whether that really happened. It might have done, but it might not have done. All we do know is that Joseph trusted God and looked after his family accordingly. 
And what about all these wise men? Here are mine, the ones from home I brought. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. It always makes me laugh a little bit because all the figures of the three wise men have one on his knees. And it's as though he traveled all that way on his knees. And I always think, oh, he must be so worn out. That's just the way I think. And of course, they traveled on camels. I love this, this camel. I love him. He makes me laugh. Look at his face. He just makes me laugh. Camels are really strange creatures to look at, aren't they? Very odd. Have any of you ridden a camel? Do you know what it's like to sit way up high, higher than a horse, and to look down? Have you? Well, guess what? I have actually sat on a camel. It was when we were visiting Jerusalem. It was in a place called Jericho. And this camel had to lie down and you hoit yourself onto it, onto the saddle. And then the camel got up to take you for a ride. But it didn't get up sort of as I was expecting. He got up by putting his hind legs up first. So I was leaning right over and then he got his front legs up. And at last I was straight. I was really frightened I was going to fall off the front and then we walked and it was a funny sort of loping walk side to side it wasn't that comfortable and I was given a big heavy saddle to sit on very padded and it still wasn't comfortable and then you think of those wise men and they traveled all the way from Arabia in the east, all the way to Bethlehem. It must have been really difficult. And they were carrying those presents, weren't they? Valuable presents. So they were a target for bandits and robbers as well. They literally carried their lives in their hands. And yet they trusted God. And Joseph and Mary trusted God that his plan would work. And so we can sit here listening to lovely music about the three kings, wise men, magi, call them what you will, looking at that beautiful crib, hearing the story. And being able to laugh at camels. We're all on a journey at the moment. Not a physical journey. It's a social, emotional journey. Here we are, all back at home. No school. For the most part. School is there. School is functioning with those children of key workers who are going in. School never closes. Even in the holidays, you know, school doesn't close. There are always teachers or somebody there working. But you're, most of you are at home. So we are on this odd journey at the moment and it's frightening, isn't it? And we carry our lives in our hands I hope you're remembering to wash. I hope you're remembering to stay socially distant from people who aren't in your bubble. We need to be a little bit like the wise men, don't we? We need to trust. We need to keep ourselves safe. Do you remember... The wise men went home by a different road. We're all traveling different roads at the moment. But there is one thing we all have in common. And that is that God loves us. And God will give us the strength and the courage 
to keep going on our particular road. Let's say a prayer. Heavenly Father, give us strength and courage like those three wise men. Help us commit ourselves to your care. Help us remember that we are all together, even if we are physically apart. And thank you for this wonderful, wonderful story of the three wise men visiting baby Jesus. We pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Let's go back to our crib. Let's put the camel there. Here we are. Oops. There's the camel. Can you see him? So feast your eyes on the crib once again. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with each one of you this epiphany tide and remain with you always. Amen.